Daily Internet friends, it's Sean Strickland with Poison Spider Ramuda in training here in Cristobal, Texas. Who do we got again? We got Trailer Trash, AKA Pete. He's the horse that we did in the hobbling video a few weeks ago. And today we are gonna do our first saddling on Pete. Um, Pete is a long yearling. He is a coming two year old. We will start him oh, probably January or February. And this guy is going to go into our cutting horse program. Um, he's got a he's got a lot of spunk about him. He's a lot of fun. He's a real personable colt. He's really fresh today, so y'all might see some fun stuff. But our main goal today is to give him his first saddling and to build his confidence. So whenever we do start riding him, we're just that much further ahead. So I guess we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, with that, what we're gonna do first though is we're gonna flag him, we're gonna get him mentally and physically prepared, then we're gonna hobble him, introduce him to the saddle, we're gonna saddle him, we're gonna leave him hobbled, and then we're gonna untrack him with those hobbles on, so if he does want a buck or anything like that, we have more control of him. It's just not a, it's not a wild buck, and, uh, and then once he kind of relaxes with those hobbles on, with that saddle, then we'll release those hobbles and then we'll go back to flagging them again and do a little bit of groundwork. But uh, I told y'all that we would show you how uh, we saddle a colt for the first time, and here we go. All right, so I'm just gonna warm old Pete up. He's gonna feel good, and he's a little bit frisky today. like the way this horse travels. He's got a nice little gait about him, kind of carries his head real nice. These horses that are bred this way, they sure make life a lot easier when you're starting them. He's a son of Cool and Hot, who is an NCHA freshman sire, and then out of Pepto's Pink Dot. And Pepto's uh, Pink Dot, her first colt will show this year at the NCHA Futurity. So we're real excited to see what that colt does. So again, we're just kind of mentally and physically preparing this horse for what we have going on. I never just come in the round pen and get straight to work. I always get them mentally and physically prepped. I like to lunge my horses up against the wall. I hardly ever turn my colts loose. I like to keep control all the time. And whenever I stop my colt, I stop them along the wall. So we try to start working on that straight stop. All right, we're gonna get ready for that little stop here. Oh. Oh, he's still a little fresh. All right, we're not looking for fireworks right now. He's just a yearling, but we will work on that stop. with this colt we've hobbled him and lunged him a few times so this is all new to him oh good now we'll send him out the other direction play right here a little bit slap that rope around them legs a little bit catch it 
kind of go like that. Also, now that we're saddling today, I'm going to put this rope in the area that we have the cinch as well. So we might as well go ahead and do that. Just like this. Just getting him used to that pressure right there. All right, good deal. I think we're ready for a set of hobbles. All right, Pete. Gotta love colts, their attention span is this big, and we expect it to be this big. So whenever I work with a colt, I usually work pretty fast. I usually try to keep their mind engaged on me instead of just going super slow and giving them a lot of time just to let their mind wander. I'm always doing something to keep their mind engaged to, to in, in tune to what I'm doing. over a little bit. Good job, Pete. All right, we're hobbled. Let's let them kind of figure out that we're hobbled real quick. It's been a little while since we've done this. It's been a few weeks. It's all right, there we go. Nothing wrong with that. Let them kind of figure out that we got them caught here. If you didn't see our first video on hobbling, I really suggest you check it out. It's a great video, uh, teaches you how to, to work your horse properly with a set of hobbles for the first time. There we go, he's starting to lick his lips now. We'll kind of love on him a little bit. We let him think for himself right there instead of working him like I normally do. We let him think for himself and let him figure these hobbles out on his own. Now we're gonna keep that mind engaged right here. There we go, good job Pete. Now when I saddle a colt, I don't dance around them. I saddle them like they're a broke horse. Uh, sometimes it takes a, a few more attempts to get that saddle up. I throw it up there like, like they're a broke horse. Uh, a lot of people may not like that, but it's what works for me. What works for me may not work for you. Um, but I'm just not gonna dance around it. I want them to know that, hey, what we're doing, this is what we're doing and uh, We'll just do it right here so you see. This is a uh, Team Equine saddle pad. They're one of our sponsors. I love these pads. This one's called the Solid. Uh, if y'all ever wanna try one of these pads, uh, get online on Team Equine. It's all right, there we go. Use the code PS30 and you'll get a really good discount. Uh, you notice I switch sides. I do it on both sides here. Do it on both sides here. There we go. Good boy, Pete. Good boy. There we go. All right, pull that hair out from underneath that saddle pad. All right, we're just gonna throw that saddle up there like he knows what it is. Mind you, he doesn't. He may jump away from it, which is fine. That's totally fine. Oh, we got a little kick there. That's all right. Let him sniff it, check it out. Good horse. All right, here we go. Good horse, there we go. See, by just throwing it up there and doing it smooth, he kind of really didn't even notice what happened. I move fast, but I move confident. Go. Good horse. Good horse. Make sure it's up over their wither real good. If they do jump and buck, it doesn't roll off of them. I don't hawk it in them right off the bat. You can tell I've got my shoulder up against this horse. If he does jump, he's going to push me instead of on top of me. Up. Got my foot right here. I don't hardly ever like to lean underneath them. There we go. Snug it up a little bit. Just enough. Okay. He doesn't even realize he's saddled right now. Now I'm 
going to untrack him with these hobbles on. Sometimes they like to lay down, sometimes they like to buck, but with these hobbles it makes it a lot harder, make the, make the hard thing difficult and the easy thing easy. We're just going to kind of let them untrack here a little bit. Good. All right. There. It's really hard for them to, to travel with them hobbles on, and that's what I want them to think. I want them to think that, man, that's, that's not real easy. It's a good sign right there. We're pooping. That means he's relaxing a little bit. Going to go ahead and untrack him a couple more times. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, it's all right, Pete. Yeah. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. I'm going to pull him this way. I don't like to be towards the fence as much. Okay. Now I'm going to tighten it up a little bit more. Love on him. Okay. There we go. Got my handy flag right there. Good boy, Pete. Good boy. Set my flag up. Good boy. All right. Put my shoulder against his shoulder. Take them hobbles off. I don't even mind where they go. I'm gonna step away. There we go. Now he knows he's free. Good boy, Pete. Now I'm not wanting to jump right in there and make him lope or trot or anything like that. I kind of want him to think on his own right now. Like I said, I do things fast when I'm doing this saddling so that their mind stays on me, but now I'm giving him the chance to think on his own. I'm just kind of gently pushing him along. Good job, Pete. Good job. Now we'll kind of start acting, asking for a little bit more action here. There we go. <laughs> yeah. What's on your back, buddy? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. He's not as soft as he usually is lunging right now. <laughs> All right, we're going to ask him for a little stop here. Get him set up. Oh, oh yeah. That was perfect. All right. Good job, Pete. Now he's starting to relax. See, I've got some slack in here now. That's what I like. All right, Pete is doing really good. Now we're going to start playing with this saddle a little bit. And then after we're done with this, we may tie him up and leave, let him stand tied for a while with this saddle on. Set him up for this nice little stop. Oh. Good, Pete. Good, Pete. All right. There we go. Let's get our flag out of the way. All right, Pete. Hey, there we go. All right. Now we're just going to play with this saddle. Man, and I'm going to do that a little bit fast too, but I'm going to do it soft. And what I mean by fast, it's, it's not aggressive fast. It's just keeping their mind engaged. All right. We're just going to love on him before he knows that we're, we're loving all over him. Good job, Pete. Good job talking to him, loving on him. Yeah, same thing over here. Yeah, he's thinking about me right now. He ain't thinking about what just happened. Is he? There we go. Good job, Pete. Yeah. I don't like his head turned away from me. I like their head turned in to the side I'm working, so if they, they do jump, they're going to jump that way, not away, and then I get a chance of getting kicked over here. Good job, Pete. Good job, Pete. All right. Good job, Pete. Yeah, we might as well just keep...
keep on going. Get him used to a little bit of stuff here. Yeah. Good job, Pete. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, now we're not going to ride him yet. We aren't going to ride this guy yet. We'll ride him in January. But heck, anything that we can do to build his confidence for that time that we do start, man, that's awesome. Good job, Pete. Good job. All right. I'm gonna turn a little bit here. Yeah. Disengage that hip. Yeah. Good job, Pete. There we go. Oh, I always hate getting on on this side. I feel goofy doing it. I'm not a calf roper. But you do one side, you gotta do the other. he's going to be a world champ i don't know it's going to be up to him but we're going to give him every opportunity to be one other than that guys i hope this video will help you for saddling your colt for the first time uh, like i said this is how i do it may not work for you you may need to go a little slower but i've done it a thousand times too and it's hard to work that fast if you're not real confident but i'm confident in what i'm doing and if you're not confident, that's okay. With confidence comes time. With confidence comes practice. Take your time. Do it right. Build your confidence. Build your horse's confidence. And enjoy your horse. That's the most important thing. Other than that, subscribe to our channel, uh, Sean Strickland, Poison Spider Ramuda, and our Facebook page, Poison Spider Ramuda. Have a great day, friends. We're going to come to you next week with another video. Adios.